Konnichiwa. Right on schedule. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a little bit like that, but this is great. I don't know the reanimated global event. It only runs one week per season. So seven days to this very hour? In case you've been off planet for the past week, activating this game mode in your season menu turns Washington DC into zombie land. Rule number one for surviving division two zombie land, cardio. Speed and agility are vital to your survivability. So get a high power build and learn how to use it. Which leads me to my second rule, always go for the head or they'll zombie up and shoot you in the rear. Rule number three, if you're not sure, always double tap. I gotta say there's no better time to go dirty Harry than when this event is activated. There are three things I love in this world. Kylie Minogue. Headshotting zombies. And twins. So with the global event reanimated, this gun just is basically on turbocharged because the downside of this gun is that you got to have some sort of handling on it because it's got quite a bit of stability issues. And then the event makes it even stronger. So you're powered up going into the event and then you get more stability from the event, weapon handling that is as well. And then the event also heals you. So that green cloud of smoke from reanimated, which we're going to be running all week. And that's why I'm featuring this build so that you can use it for reanimated. Okay, so that green cloud is also healing you when you you're standing in it. Be sure to check out this Dread Edict Exotic SVD build too. I made it in the build lab on Twitch where all my builds are made and tested live with the community in unedited gameplay. Shout out to all the banditos and Texas Players Club for supporting the channel and the Division 2 community in all the ways that you do. To say thank you, I create extra builds like this one for Texas Players Club as member perks. You can find all of your member perks in this playlist at the top of my channel homepage. Make sure your notifications are turned on too. If you're not part of Texas Players Club, it's time you join this strong, positive community. Link here in the corner and in the description area below. You want to run sharpshooter so you're getting that extra headshot damage as well as that stability and increased target acquisition. So that's sort of a no-brainer, but the Dread Edict, it's the SVD class. It comes with the 40% headshot damage scope, and then you got 50% handling here, stability there, and some crit chance there, and you got 111% uh, headshot damage and 10% damage the targets out of cover so real nice but the talent is full stop so shooting enemies build stacks to a cap of 20 headshots grant two stacks each stack grants two percent weapon damage and five percent headshot damage so that's basically up to a hundred percent headshot damage and forty percent weapon damage so when you reload it clears all the stacks and you gain five percent of your max armor as temporary armor for 10 seconds so basically blue bonus armor okay and then it clears your stacks and then when you get headshot kills you're gonna uh, get your ammo back so that's really useful because this has got a really high rpm and so there are chances you can run out of ammo if you're missing a lot of shots so you need headshot kills basically it's designed really not really to run and gun this is more of a hold your ground so you plant yourself find one or two pieces of good cover and then just clear the entire playing field from a single spot and it makes it really really efficient to play you can run this with more armor but you don't need to because again you're playing from cover in a single spot so 1.3 million armor really is plenty but if you feel like running max armor cores go for it and you're still going 
gonna be able to one-shot elites and even named bosses when you uh, get your stacks up. We're running four piece aces. That's giving us marksman damage, headshot damage, and dead man's hand, which is basically giving us amplified damage after a certain number of hits. And then I got weapon damage and double headshot damage there. The gloves are weapon damage and headshot damage. And then these are also aces with armor and headshot damage. And then the holster is armor and headshot damage. And then the chest piece, I am running chain killer, which is giving us 5% weapon damage, weapon handling, headshot damage, and then perfect headhunter. I really like this for this event. This is what's allowed you to one shot everything consecutively, but you can also go with focus because you are playing in scope also. But this is great. This is really working for this event. So this is basically capping our damage at 1,250% of the last kill blow, all the damage you're going to need. So if we look at the stats here, it's mostly about the headshot damage. So we're almost 300% headshot damage, and that's plenty. <laughs> you don't need any more than that. And so you can also run this with crits if you want to, uh, but if you're on the console, you might like having having that little bit of weapon handling that might be helping you and that's why I do it and then I'm running the memento and that's because I really like having that 30% weapon damage that cannot be disabled and also that little 3% armor regen really does help when you're playing from cover we're not taking a ton of damage so 3% armor regen is perfect and then uh you got skill efficiency which is also helping your skills and then I got a healer drone it's not super strong but we do got a skill tier plus we're getting that 30% skill efficiency and then we got the decoy the decoy is pretty vital I think for a lot of sniper builds they allow you to stay out of cover and shoot and as you can see, really fun build. The reanimated event is on all week and that's making these headshot builds really shine. So it's time to break out the SVD. Have fun, guys. Follow me.